Audio Geek Series. Welcome to Astia Studios Audio Geek Series. In this series, we'll demonstrate audio stuff that mainstream audience will find most boring. If audio geeking is not your cup of tea, please close your browser immediately. Tape machine sounds heavenly compared to digital mediums, and that's why we mostly use our 2-inch 24-track analog tape machine for sessions. As we don't have another 24-track tape machine yet, sometimes it would be nice to have more tracks available, so we decided to sync our 2-inch 24-track analog tape machine to DAW. Equipment needed. 2-inch 24-track analog tape machine. DAW with the ability to send SMPTE. Synchronizer. Some cables and lots of inspiration to work out all the small details. There are two ways of doing it. Record SMPTE timecode on one of the tape machine tracks and use the tape machine as sync master and DAW as slave. This way DAW syncs to tape machine. This is quite easy to accomplish, but there's a huge downside to that. As tape machines wobble tiny bit all the time and if DAW is following the tape machine via SMPTE, that introduces cheater and wobbling to the door, which turns out as pretty bad audio quality. Door is not used to wobbling around, so this method is not recommended. Record SMPT timecode on one of the tape machine tracks and use a synchronizer unit, which receives SMPTE from door, which is the master, and then controls the capstan of the tape machine, making it the slave. The benefit on this method is that as doors rarely wobble, door can work as they do. Synchronizer tells the capstan of tape machine to keep up with door, and this even reduces the minor wobbling of the tape machine, which it naturally has. This way is what all professional audio geeks recommend, and that's why we use it here at Astia Studios. Once the sync is achieved, we can operate the door as we normally would and the tape machine will catch up. In bigger productions, it's great to have drums, bass and rhythm guitars on analog tape. Oh, and did I mention how great acoustic guitar sounds when recorded on tape? Anyway, enough talk. Let's see what this video is all about. Press play from computer. Master time code is coming from computer. Slave time code from Otari. Then we move the cursor a little bit in here. Press play. And Otari will catch up. Pretty awesome. So now our clients can choose if they want to do the session on analog tape machine only, computer only, or using both at the same time. Until we get the second tape machine. But that will be a whole another story. Thanks for watching.